you want to remain in me, and if you want me to remain in you, you need to chop up your unnecessary branches. That's what it meant here. You know, when I was in Japan, I went to grocery and cantaloupe was not brown or yellow. What, what color was it? It's a greenish cantaloupe. Gold? It wasn't gold. But it was so beautiful. Even the <laughs> outside. <laughs> Tied with the golden, you know, strings. You know how much it would cost? 15,000 yen, so 150 dollars. Can you believe that? Maybe now the... And how much is it? 125? Mm, around that area. Anyway, at that time, ratio was 1 to 1, so 150 dollars. Can you buy? Here, cantaloupe, how much? $2.99 for three. <laughs> <laughs> so I asked the manager, how, how, why so expensive? He said, they just uh, harvested one fruit per tree. Wow. Huh? Well, they chopped up every unhealthy fruit. Unripe, they just chopped up. So only one cantaloupe per tree. That's why it's so expensive. You know taste? Oh, it's, I would never forget. <laughs> 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 one bite, 15,000. <000. laughs> Two bites, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Jesus meant here. If you're a Christian, you have to chop up your bad habits, attitude, negativity, all the unnecessary things that distract your spiritual life, you need to chop up. In the way you can have a real fruit, gourmet, expensive, Really good. My. <laughs> Maui. <laughs> That's what he meant here. So if you and I are Christians, we need to cut off all the bad attitude, bad thoughts, bad habits, even negativity, unhealthy lifestyles. That's why if you and I are Christians, we need to choose what to eat. Right? We don't eat that much uh, Japanese fast food. What was it? The bowl with, on top of it, beef. Yoshinoya. <laughs> it's all fatty. The choice is ours, whether we want to eat that or not. Christian life is just like it. Whether I choose to do this to glorify Him or not, same thing. Everything's choice. We need to make a decision. Why He's mentioning here? Why He wants us to cut off all the unhealthy activities in our lives? Because if we are not remained in Him, we have tend to go back. Just like Israelites in the wilderness. See, even though there was slavery in Egypt, they had what? Wine, meat, music, everything. But in the wilderness, they had only what? Manna. Everyday manna. Everyday white pancake. Right? No salt, no pepper, 
No sugar, only white. They complained. They complained to Moses, Why did you bring out here in the wilderness to kill us? That's their sentence. God was so mad. Rage, right? That's why, what, what did God do to them? Send little snakes. Hmm? Poison snakes. <laughs> See, if we don't remain Jesus Christ, we tend to go back the way we used to do it because it already became our habits. Habit, you don't think. Without thinking, we already in that action. That's why it's very dangerous. Because our sinful nature, we only want comfort, security. We don't want to take any risk for Jesus Christ. See, we need to step out of faith and do something for Jesus Christ? No, I don't want to. So if we don't remain Jesus Christ, we just go back to how many things in our lifestyles. That's why Jesus says, cut off. Otherwise, what does he say here? Such branches are gathered into a pile to be burned. You know, Luke, uh, I think chapter 24, it describes uh, how the hell looks like. Yeah, let me check it out. I think it's chapter 24. No, chapter 16. 16 verse 24. You know, this is the parable of the rich man and Lazarus, okay? They too lived well here on earth, but obviously the rich man had everything. Lazarus lived a very poor life. One day they died together and then rich man went to the hell here. That's what it says, verse 24. The rich man shouted, Father Abraham, have some pity. Send Lazarus over here to dip the tip of his pink, uh, finger in water and cool my tongue. I'm in anguish in these flames. That's the picture in the hell. The anguish in the flames. It's a burning fire, but it doesn't burn our bodies because it's already turned into spirit but agony, pain, that's for eternal. When we go to heaven, we have eternal life, but when we go down to the other side, eternal punishment. So, Jesus said, if you don't remain in me, you still have a lot of branches. You know, physically, when I see that uh, fruit when I was in Japan, it's only one fruit per tree. We could see, they just chopped up every unhealthy branches. But spiritually, we still have the branch, unseen branches in our lives. That's what we call bondage. We have so many bondages in, in our lives. We're just hiding ourselves. Jesus said, it is your choice whether you cut up and come to me. So, if we don't remain in Jesus Christ, we tend to go back to bondage again and again, again. So finally, it leads us into 